Have you ever felt lonely and found yourself reaching for your smartphone or an app? A loneliness pandemic is spreading across the globe. Countries like the UK and Japan have even appointed a minister for loneliness to tackle this issue at a national level. In the United States, the Surgeon General has declared loneliness a public health crisis, emphasizing that it's not just a feeling, but a factor that can impact our lifespan. In the midst of this, a new solution is emerging, AI companions. Apps like Replica, Shy, and Xiao Eyes offer more than just conversations. They provide you with an AI friend or even a romantic partner. But can talking to an AI really ease our loneliness? A new study from a research team, including scholars at Harvard Business School, might have the answer. AI companions are fundamentally different from general-purpose AIs like Siri or ChatGPT. They're designed with a single goal, to build emotional relationships with users, whether that's friendship or something more. They might ask, how are you feeling today, or say, I'm here for you. While they don't have real emotions, they're incredibly good at generating words that feel empathetic and authentic. The market for AI companions is growing fast. Popular apps like Replica and Chai have millions of users. In fact, 50% of users on Replica report having a romantic relationship with their AI. This new research dives deep into whether AI companions can actually reduce loneliness and how that effect works. Let's break down the study's three key findings. 1. Lonely people are turning to AI companions. The researchers analyzed conversations from the AI companion app Cleverbot. They found that loneliness was explicitly mentioned in about 5% of conversations. While that might seem low, it only counts the times users directly talked about it. Many users said things like, I've never had a friend before I met you. App reviews also showed a strong connection, with highly rated comments mentioning how the app helped them feel less lonely. It's clear that people are using AI to fill a void. 2. AI companions really do reduce loneliness. The study proves that talking with an AI companion genuinely reduces feelings of loneliness. The effect was just as strong as talking to another person and was even more effective than other activities like watching YouTube. The study also showed that talking to an AI companion every day for a week led to a sustained reduction in loneliness. 3. AI heals loneliness by listening. So, why do they work? The biggest reason is the feeling of being heard. The study found that it's not about how clever or well-spoken the AI is. What matters most is whether the user feels like their words are being listened to. Users said things like, it's nice to be heard and listened to. They feel that the AI listens to their thoughts and emotions carefully, empathetically, and with respect. The surprising twist, people underestimate AI's power. One of the most interesting findings is that people underestimated how much AI companions will help them. After using an AI, they felt far less lonely than they expected to beforehand. This might be because we have a preconceived notion that AI is cold and unemotional. However, the study suggests that by actively engaging with AI, we can experience its surprising effectiveness firsthand. What happens after a week? The researchers ran an experiment where people talked to an AI for 15 minutes a day, for one week. The results showed a significant improvement on the very first day, and the effect remained stable throughout the week. The concern that the effect would wear off was proven wrong, the AI continued to ease loneliness with each passing day. This research shows that AI companions can be an effective solution to the major social problem of loneliness. Many of these services are free, making them accessible to anyone. They are also a great tool for people living in remote areas who may have limited access to human support. Of course, AI doesn't truly feel emotions. But this study's biggest takeaway is that simply feeling understood is enough to ease loneliness. While the results are positive, the study does have limitations. The research was conducted primarily in North America, so further studies are needed to understand cultural differences. The long-term effects and the impact on real-world relationships are also areas for future research. This study marks an important first step in understanding how we can live alongside AI and how it might help us support our mental well-being in the future. What do you think? 
Do you believe AI companions could be a part of the solution? Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. This video is a summary of academic research and is not medical advice. If you are experiencing severe loneliness or depressive symptoms, please consult a healthcare professional.